hospitality was amazing. Kitty was brilliant, sassy. She had a great humor. She was loving, caring, mischievous. Kitty was the boss. She was a good boss. She loved to take care of everyone. She just had a mind of her own. Her favorite activity was making tools. I think painting would be her favorite activity, and she loved to use her lips. She just liked creating. She was also very into food. Kitty loved bananas. One of her favorite fruits was coconut, and she would carry the coconut on the back of her head. You know, there was never a dull moment for Kitty. One of my favorite times was one of the guys went to get her water hose out. She takes the water hose and chases him up and down with the water hose, and he finally dawns on him to turn the water off. But by the time he turns it off, he's soaked. I was dying laughing. I didn't even try to help. I mean, she had it under control. The funniest memory I have of Kitty is when we had to lock the chimps into their big yard, and Kitty hates being locked into the big yard. That day in particular, we put a ton of enrichment out into the yard. When we gave her access, she just ran right out there. It was like a miracle. And when we went to go close the door, there was a giant rock in the way. She took her time out there, and then she came right back. She picked up the rock and went to the tunnel. And so needless to say, we did not shift them that day. It's one of my favorite memories because it just shows how smart she is. After Lulu unfortunately had a stroke, she was incapacitated on her right side and because of our protected contact, we couldn't get in there to help her. And we were wondering how we were going to be able to care for her in that immediate time frame. And just when that happened, we look over and Kitty is, is over there taking care of Lulu. Kitty's role in the group reminded me of me with my four girls. Kitty was the alpha, she was the matriarch, but basically what that meant was she was their mother. She cared for them like a mother, she protected them. One of the sweetest things was after Lulu finally was able to regain her mobility, Kitty's health started failing. Uh, Lulu returned the favor and actually cared for Kitty in her last few days. Every time I think about that day, it just... We came in in the morning and we knew we had to shift Lulu and Midge out of the house to be able to access her and they easily shifted. And that's something we didn't expect. And so we knew in that moment that they had already said goodbye, that they were there with her throughout the night when she passed. I think her, her family, her, her chimps, Midge and Lulu, had already said goodbye to her by the time we lost her. But I take comfort in the fact that she passed with her family. I miss her presence. So, I miss the whole package. What I miss most about Kitty is seeing her with Midge and Lulu. Seeing her play with Midge and seeing her groom Lulu and take care of her when she's not feeling well. I know that she's free from pain, free from stress. She's happy. She's with her family members. She's with her children that she lost and she's finally at peace. If I could have provided Kitty with something that she wanted, it would have definitely have been the knowledge that her kids needed to sanctuaries. I think there are several ways to honor Kitty. Supporting African conservation work is so important, not buying mahogany teak. I also think that supporting legislation that helps chimps in captivity, those are all really important ways to, to honor her because her freedom was stolen from her. We need to be able to give more chimps the life that we were able to give Kitty and definitely to give Midge and Lulu more friends. That would be the best way to honor her. We need to expand our facilities and be able to take in more primates from the research labs and from private owners to give them the life that our primates here experience every day. For all that she had been through, the love that she could give us, 
She taught me forgiveness and compassion and that you can overcome anything. She never lost hope.